Princess Diana's grace, elegance, and ability to connect with people are the hallmark of her legacy. Her impeccable jewelry taste emphasized her classic style even more. Let's look at some of the most outstanding jewelry pieces that helped define Princess Diana's legacy. Princess Diana's Engagement Ring While royal brides usually receive bespoke rings, Diana opted for the 12 carat blue sapphire from a selection presented at Garrard. Catherine, the Princess of Wales, now owns Diana's unconventional yet striking choice of an engagement ring. The ring is adorned with 14 solitaire diamonds encircling the sapphire and holds an estimated value of $413,000. The Spencer Tiara The tiara was inherited by Diana's father, John Spencer, 8th Earl Spencer, in the mid-70s and as such remains in the Spencer family. This stunning tiara was crafted by Garrett in the 1930s and was worn by Diana's two sisters on their respective wedding days. Though the princess didn't own it, it became widely associated with her. The Spencer tiara, now worth $440,860, is set to be inherited by Princess Charlotte. The Queen Mother's Sapphire Brooch This impressive gem brooch originally belonged to the Queen Mother as a wedding gift, and since then, this has become a lifelong favorite. Diana had this diamond and sapphire piece converted into a necklace with a seven-strand pearl choker. It's one of the few statement jewelry pieces she donned before and after her divorce from Prince Charles in 1996. She famously paired the necklace with the revenge dress she wore the night Charles announced his affair and during her dance with President Reagan in Cross Hall at the White House in 1985. The Sapphire Cluster was one of Diana's personally owned jewelry pieces, so it was almost certainly inherited by her sons. However, the gem has not been seen in public since her death. The Queen Mary's Lovers Not Tiara Delicately crafted in 1914 for Queen Mary by the House of Garrett, the Lovers Knot is stooped in royal history. After Queen Mary died in 1953, the tiara was given to her granddaughter, Queen Elizabeth II. The Queen lent it to Princess Diana before her wedding day in 1981, but she chose to wear the Spencer tiara. She did, however, go on to don the tiara for several royal engagements. The tiara, estimated to be worth $1.1 million, has been worn by Princess Catherine several times since 2015 and now resides in Windsor Vaults. The Delhi Durbar Emerald Choker It originally belonged to Queen Mary as a gift in 1911 during the Delhi Durbar. It was passed on to Queen Elizabeth II, but she never wore this choker publicly. She presented the choker to Lady Diana as a wedding gift in 1981 as a lifelong loan. It remained in Diana's possession until 1997. It became famous when she wore it on her head as a bandeau during a dance with Prince Charles in Melbourne in 1985. According to the royal biographer Kitty Kelly, Diana did not intentionally wear the choker as a bandeau, but instead it stuck on her forehead and was not going below her nose. So she decided to keep it as a head ornament for the night. The stunning item is worth nearly 20 million US dollars in today's currency. The Swan Lake Suite The Swan Lake necklace was named after Princess Diana, who wore it to the ballet at London's Royal Albert Hall in 1997, shortly before her tragic passing, and it became the most valuable piece in her extensive jewelry collection. It was created by Garrett with 178 diamonds and 5 pearls. The custom necklace was designed with matching earrings, completed only after Princess Diana's death. The Swan Lake Suite was sold at the New York auction house Guernsey to a Ukrainian couple. Recently, the same couple has asked for $12.1 million for the piece, according to the court jeweler. Princess Diana's jewelry choices reflected her refined taste and timeless style, emphasizing her unforgettable presence. Each piece she wore had a story to tell, adding to her legacy as a fashion icon and beloved figure.